Hey, gang, JC here, and this is your Daily Dose for Thursday, August 19th, 2010. A cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. We love Brentwood even more now that they have cut back on the smoking. I could be able to smoke in Brentwood. Fantastic news. You can watch us on your mobile phone now or get the audio on iTunes down in the corner right near Dave Murray's weather forecast. Archives top of the page. We run all the eye candies down at the bottom of the page for you. You can look at them anytime. I'm in a great mood here today because last night Channel 9 aired a live stage performance of South Pacific. You just can't go wrong with a music man, Bye Bye Birdie, and Sa some enchanted. No, you got to do even lower than that because Rosano Brazzo. Who did the uh, Bratzi, Bratzi, Bratzo? Uh, some enchanted evening, you may see a stranger. Then you can do that glottal thing over there. Just a fantastic. Some enchanted evening, gonna wash that man right out of my head. Once you have found her, never let her <coughs> go. Felt very old watching Channel 9 last night. Just, you know, looked over at Triple C and she looked like Martin Dugan to me. All right, yesterday we told you we were up to 992 friends on Facebook. And yesterday, happy to say that once I removed Tom Bergenmeyer, sorry Tom, can't take the negative energy, um, we added some more friends and we're happy to say that Joe Mahanovich, who also is friends with Bernie Miklas and Brian McKenna, friends of mine, is now our 1,000th Facebook friend. All right? So, congratulations to Joe Mahanovich. See, if I was on the radio right now, we'd probably give you something, but I don't know. You want to come and take a chair from the pool deck? I, yeah, I got nothing. Facebook, by the way, has that new function. They announced it yesterday. So if you go on vacation with your mobile phone and stuff like that, hey, look how much fun we're having on the beach. You can sort of update things from a remote location using your mobile phone. However... Let's just remember that there are an increasing number of cases where people have been yapping about what a good time they're having on the beach, and then somebody comes along and sees that on your Facebook page and goes, eh, probably a friend of yours, by the way, and it cleans out your house. So let's just think that out before we use it. Mike Anderson's website, stlmedia.net, is reporting that DC, from the old Steve and DC Morning Show, D.C.'s real name, by the way, Isaiah Wilhelm, he is on the run from the law, and that his wife Anna has been arrested in Illinois and is awaiting extradition to Maryland, where she faces a laundry list of fraud charges, theft, non-payment, the works. The list is so long, I don't even have time to go into it here. D.C. is up to his ass in alligators, too. Uh, supposedly the police might be after him, too. In the meantime, Steve Shannon, the other part of Steve in D.C., real name, Terrence Trawick knew when to get out of Dodge, and he went back to Alabama. Brian Burwell, the Post-Dispatch, out as their 9 to 11 morning co-host on 101 ESPN. I'm sure we'll hear more about that. Cardinals, by the way, don't look now, but we're three games behind the Cincinnati Reds. We lost again yesterday. Only two hits for the Cardinals going into the ninth inning. And don't try to tell me about the great comeback in the ninth inning, by the way, because two errors, a misplayed ball by the left fielder, and a hit batsman does not constitute a comeback. That is a bad team that's been a dozen games out of first place since the first week of the season trying to blow a game. Alan Craig, by the way, you know, they tried him out at third base, even though everybody knows he has no arm. So yesterday they put him in right field, Brewers have a run around third, and there's a fly ball to shallow right field. I'm talking shallow right field, and he can't get it to the plate on less than two bounces. Runner was safe. We are in a lot of trouble. We are in a lot of trouble if the mighty Mo can't pull off a deal for a third baseman. You know, it happens the first week of school in St. Louis every year, and we had it happen again yesterday, a little five-year-old five-year-old girl, the school bus driver lets her off at the wrong stop and she's just wandering through the streets, scared to death. This town needs an enema, and especially the public school system. Uh, Fox News Channel, one million dollar donation to the Republican National Committee. They failed to report that, by the way. It's funny, they have a 24-hour news channel, couldn't work that in. Couldn't work it in. But, they did donate 
half of the million dollars to right-wing Republicans and the other half million dollars to extreme right-wing Republicans because they wanted to be fair and <laughs> they wanted to be fair and balanced. New survey says three quarters of women think the U.S. has a long way to go before it reaches true gender equality. Well, what do they know? Their brains are so tiny. Still there? Yeah. Starting September 1st, stores in Moscow will not be able to sell vodka after 10 p.m. Look, if they don't want Lindsay Lohan to visit, why don't they just come right out and say it? Dr. Laura Schlesinger announced she's leaving radio after the controversy that erupted when she said the N-word on the air six times. Upon hearing her show was going to be going off the air, Mel Gibson said, damn, just when it was getting good. Forbes says Las Vegas is the most stressful city in the United States. They count things like unemployment, commute times, long work hours, health care options, health risks, stuff like that. L.A. came in number second, followed by Houston, Tampa, Riverside, Miami, Dallas, New York, Chicago, and Detroit. But Vegas, number one in stress. All those naked boobies on all those stages, it still doesn't relieve the stress. New survey says young women are becoming more and more casual about oral. Yes, half the women surveyed, 18 to 25, say they don't even consider it very intimate. And lots less intimate than actual sex. 30% of the women say they enjoy it because it makes them feel powerful. Message to Triple C, I want you to be as powerful as you think you can be in this household. I want you to dominate. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you about 23-year-old Jessica Teston and her roommate, 26-year-old Rachel Bella. They live just outside of Washington, D.C. Very cute blondes, by the way. I looked at their pictures on the Internet. Pretty good-looking babes. And they're having trouble making the rent. So they go to their landlord and they say, we'll make you a deal. We'll do you, and you give us free rent for a month until we can get our shit together. The landlord is married, but you know. And so they start going at it, and the girls are videotaping it. You see where this is going? Yes. About uh, just as it was starting to get really good, they shut it down and said, okay, we're going to take this tape, and we're going to send it to your wife, Unless you give us, and get this, free rent and $500 a week, or they were going to send the DVD to his wife. So the landlord pulls a David Letterman, and he goes directly to the police. The police put a wire on him, and uh, they go and have another discussion with the girls, and, uh, and the landlord is now told that for $11,000 cash on the barrel head, they will just forget about the whole thing, give them the master tapes and DVD, and that'll be the end of it. And those two girls are now facing 10 years of free rent in the state prison. Snooky from Jersey Shore, as we continue with the blotter, was arrested for public intoxication. You saw the, uh, the mug shots there a couple of weeks ago, also disorderly conduct. You're going to think I'm making this up. I can't make stuff up like this. My imagination is not quite that fertile. New Jersey police have added a third charge, no joke, annoying people. $500 in fines is what Snooky from Jersey Shore is facing. Annoying people. Who knew that for eight years I could have had Carl arrested? Warner Brothers is suing a condom company called Harry Popper. Again, can I make this stuff up? Piranha 3D opens tomorrow at a theater near you. Spoiler alert. There's a character in the movie that is based on the scumbag Joe Francis. That's the guy who does those Girls Gone Wild videos. And it's not even that the Girls Gone Wild videos are so bad. It's just that he got greedy and he started using girls without their consent. And he started using underage girls. And by the way, the whole thing looks sort of innocent. You know, you're watching ESPN at 4 o'clock in the morning and they keep running the promos for the DVDs over and over again. And you think, ah, what can it hurt? I'll send away, I'll get one. Well, they make it almost impossible for you to cancel. And attorneys general from sea to shining sea across the fruited plains have been handling complaints about Girls Going Wild and Joe Francis because when you want to stop the DVDs, you can't do it. Anyhow, um, and here's the spoiler alert, spoiler alert in Piranha 3D. Uh, the character, based on the character Joe Francis, uh, gets his penis bitten off by a piranha. I guess the piranha wanted a light snack. Betty White is writing two books. Jesus, she's 88. I hope she writes fast. Yesterday we did the story about Heidi Montag, 
and her plastic surgeon drove off a cliff in Southern California and was killed. Now they believe that he might have been tweeting or texting when he had the accident. John Mellencamp says the Internet is, and we're quoting now, the most dangerous thing invented since the atomic bomb. And I almost half agree with him, by the way. And by the way, almost one in four couples today have met on the Internet. All right, I told you we were going to do this story yesterday. Stan Musil went back and looked up his salary history with the St. Louis Cardinals. And just listen to this. This is year-by-year year earnings. He broke into the league in 1941 as a rookie with the Cardinals. They paid him $2,400. Okay, it was 1941. $2,400 meant something different back then. 1944, up to ten dollars 1947, $32,000. 1951, 80 grand, and he made that for five years until 57 when they finally paid him $80,000. Up to 58 is when they finally break that, and he goes to 100 grand. He made 100 grand, 58 and 59. In 1960, they cut him back to 80. In 61, they drop him to 65,000. And his last year in the major leagues, he was 42 in 1963, they paid him $65,000 in his entire career. Playing Major League Baseball, he made a little over $1.2 million. Unbelievable. All right, TV tonight, John Stewart on The Daily Show has Jennifer Aniston. Could be entertaining. JC's Eye Candy today. We have a video of a guy who jumps out of an airplane with a parachute. And uh, as he's uh, going down with the parachute, he solves a Rubik's Cube. I'm just struck by how differently I spend my free time than most, than most other people. JC's Video Village this week is Woody Allen. The Wayback Machine is the old TV commercial they used to launch Alice, the radio station at 104.1 back in 1996. Not necessarily the news is Steve Spagnuolo. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow. JC's Daily Dose for Thursday, August 19, 2010, a cooperative venture with Mind Active in beautiful downtown Brentwood. And in the meantime, we've beaten this one to death. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.